okay, I'm nervous. Like, quick in the dead, I'm nervous. I really am. Uh, I love his work. I really do. I got a chance to go through some of this, and I'm going to piggy bank off of it. Um, specifically, what I am doing with more re more than anything recently is because of this. Now, again, he's got licenses and stuff, and I'm a Mason. I'm a Ronin Merc. Uh, so I do educational base on there. I not necessarily play the, the number, but... Um, We'll come through here. Oh, I didn't get the pictures. I didn't want to have to come back up onto it. But I want you to go ahead and be using some of the scaffolding because that's what I'm doing. And instead of really the volume, um, he's adding a third metrics into there to some sales. Um, when he gets into it here, let's see where it was. Uh, where are you living? All right, here we go. You, you can see some differentials inside of here about volume, where it's positioned, what this is naturally doing. And again, there's nothing really to metrics off of here except for volume in itself, or moves, tops and bottoms, uh, sideways sets. So let's, uh, I just want to get back into the bond gang. Let him see what he has said. Cause Picks and our pick of the week. To me, I like CNBC, them both. Chewy and Petco. I like Jim and consider buying gang inside here, stocks. CNBC Now the commodity Fox prices are business. down. Kramer's said on Thursday that he advised investors to take advantage of falling well, of commodity prices did. by it's adding to their portfolios. He's playing the macro, well, not big, the long. Gasoline's and you're down playing big the long, and you can buy all sorts of stocks and benefit from cheaper don't know fuel, which way to go. especially travel but and leisure get good plays, information which from make up and you have to register the things. He said while he usually apt to sell saying, industrial stocks watch during an economic slowdown, declining prices of commodities such as oil, grains, and metals mean investors can consider purchasing shares of companies that have reported great quarters August recently. 4th. However, he says investors it should remain disciplined in their buying. Let's take a look at the broad Anyways, market first. This is, we'll start out with the S&P 500. That we're part. looking at the largest ETF we're, symbol, we're watching SPY. How he learns Momentum to do remains this tool positive to our side. Like we're that. looking we for, if you remember, a number over 40. It's at 64.5. That tells you momentum Jim is still the upside. In the MACD the is still a positive for us. It's slowing a little bit, but still it's positive. Momentum Power Pro, you may recall, gave us a golden signal. That's when it's three months. It's a minimum you would see that the one month. It's showing a positive signal. The most it did zenith, that on 727. Well, that zenith, now, if you bought it open, now let's take a look at how it's weekly, doing. The, the it came monthly, out at 394 uh, uh, Friday's closing, 413.47, so it's up. I have a really Next good, upside target is 427 and 428. Right now, we're seeing on the one month signal, it's sitting at max. It's strong. The, the three month signal is at mid. That is Listen strong in, the in building. We'll and the six month signal just recently flipped. To a minimum, so those are all I know, this, this signals. Is bad now, let's take a look at the charts to see why there thing. may be some more upside also, here for the S&P. And keep in this, mind, the bull case for stocks right now is the fact that there's a lot of momentum-driven machines like that. that are still Give sitting credit. somewhat Use short his the market. Buy his that if product, prices go buy his machinery, higher, they're going to all flip out. and start buying, and that will bring you your bull case. But where could this go if they start to buy? We'll zoom out here to the two-year chart. We've got our volume profile turned on. We've got our MACD down here. We've got the RSI, that, we see the RSI I know, is I know all about overbought CNBC condition, bullshit. which it gets near I, 70, so it's building up there. So perhaps, you know, we're seeing the early stages of a bit of reversal. If we do see a reversal, you're looking down here around, you I'm, see this volume popping out here around 406. This, this, Even as possible, if it, it comes all the way back down here not the thing to you want this volume this. chunk you, below once at 393, you, you, you still be you okay because that's thing, where the 50-day moving average is hooking up. You want to see across the 50-day and a reconfirmation of some point. This is some, so this pull is back here one. wouldn't I, be I, terrible, but you if know, we give do me see some American mechanical Eagle, buying, well, your upside EOG, targets the supply right? zone give me up here around 432. Now there's right? maybe there's a little Comcast. bit of a headwind. Let's zoom in a little bit. And in between these supply zones, there's a little oh, bit of volume. You know, th and when we're out of the two-year chart, you don't see as much, but here in the six-month chart, but this you certainly time. see this it. Is a long now, why is this such a big like, buying you know, opportunity? Well, we argue that may not to Kramer, but to market participants. Done well, on the weekly chart, you can see the MACD to completely oversold and hooking up to the upside. The RSI was oversold on the weekly, and it's heading high. Last time that happened, it turned out to be a huge buying opportunity. And then the time before that, the next biggest time, from, was well near uh, the bottom Franklin of the great financial crisis. Alien, so from investors' right. perspective you, you right now, they have to be kids. looking at the market saying, how can I go me. wrong? 
Well, well that's the Fed well, this is still to tightening. Be, I was looking so you for can a go pretty wrong. Let's take a look at tech stocks and, now as we continue well, anyway. our broad market overview, and we see the momentum is positive on click, the click, NASDAQ click, 65.7 click, 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 click. on the RSI. Yeah, nice MACD is still positive across these. These are looking like they're here, getting here, you know, here, oversold, potentially a short term pullback. Let's look at momentum timer. If it goes up, you would say from here, well, it's reasonable for me to look at something that's like down here and has good momentum in the short term. Upside target. At 3.30 to 3.31, I don't care. Uh, same like, what signals we're like, seeing the oh, S&P strong one It has month. a name. Uh, like, six, I, I might be a little, it's like, all right, I'm American, so I stay away from Chinese companies. And there's no reason for me to be there. Bro. None. Still None whatsoever. Free. Starbucks, the whatever. And the description below. Anyways. For a limited time only, this is a momentum-based signal machine that I built. And what it does yeah, is scan a lot of different like overbought condition, which it gets near 70, so, so it's building up there. Kind of this so is perhaps, what you do. You know, we're seeing the early stages of here, a bit of reversal. I would change the colors a little bit see a reversal, on these. You're looking down here uh, around. You see the volume staying, popping out here around 406. Even as possible, it comes all the way back down here to this volume chunk below at 3. Why is it on this side? You'd still be okay or because that's where the 50-day moving average is hooking up. Like that you want to see across the 50 and a reconfirmation somewhere. So a pullback would here wouldn't like be that. terrible, but if we and do this see some mechanical of buying, force. well, your upside you know, targets the supply zone up, y up and here Z. around you know, 432. We're, we're kind of now there's maybe a little bit of a headwind. Let's zoom in a little bit. He's not giving you all of the data. And in between supply zones, there's a little bit of volume. Now when we're out of the two-year chart, you don't see it as much, but here in the six-month chart, you certainly see it. Now, why is you this know, such a big buying function. opportunity? I mean, not to Kramer, but to market participants. Well, on the weekly chart, you can see the MACD completely oversold and hooking up to the upside. The RSI was oversold but on the weekly, and it's heading high. Last time that happened, turned out to be a huge is. buying opportunity. And then the time overall, before that, the next biggest time, I, I really was well near the bottom of the great honest, financial crisis. So from an investor's like perspective matter, right now, not necessarily they have to be looking at the market saying, how can I go wrong? Saturn well, the Fed didn't follow is still tight. Projections. So you can go pretty wrong. And Let's take a look at tech that stocks now. Off. As so we continue our broad that, market overview, Airlines, and we see the momentum is positive on it the NASDAQ 65.7 on the RSI. Magnus Which one of those probability are lines, looking like they're getting right? you know, oversold, potentially How short-term all this pullback. New information Let's look at momentum timer pro. And some of those triggered its golden signal at 727. Uh, connections. Give you a buy it open at 299.04. Tell me I should be closes at 321. Put next upside on this mountain. At 330 right? and 331. Same signals we're seeing the S&P strong one month. We are uh, the pay, out there every day. Signal is and you are paid for the sun days, not the rain days. You just got to climb the same. What would you do? You would say my result would be different. The distance the I can climb would be different. Below. More safety For features time or only, this is a more standards. So I'm getting to... And what it does is scans a lot of different ETFs and, and gives you the signals. And I help you figure out which ones you should look at. Uh, All right, let's take a look I used to, at I did have this done. It gets all glitchy. Not great. For the tech you, stocks here and see what is that right this time, but not right that time? Um, now, again, as we ah, mentioned, see, yeah, we're seeing the RSI just off of oversold conditions. Uh, that, that and we tends, see Delta the tells me trend down. Maybe peak but all over, suggesting I'm catching a, a lot of momentum you know, because here. it would have been now, a swing that, that might have changed things to this specific name, the relatively zone. speaking. Kind of this right? Relatively speaking. It's high on a high. You can see it come down here to the 3.10. Maybe as low as the 3.05 range. Your upside target in here is the 3.43. That is what you're looking at. We zoom out here. Well, that was Long way in down between from these there. supplies, there's a, a lot of work chart. to you don't get really up there with that all that down the, you know, in the world around it. I don't know, man. Months. So there's your like upside down, target down. into but the supply zone. Let's Notice consider for a second chart, here. You've got some nice volume support there. Uh, let's that's consider for a second. Over the last oh, two years. In fact, structures. that's where everybody's been buying over the last two years. So maybe they'll be looking to add back in. Again, the bull case from the big picture is you're coming off the weekly MACD being deeply oversold. Coming off the RSI weekly RSI being deeply oversold. Coming off the RSI weekly RSI being deeply oversold. Coming off the RSI weekly RSI also deeply oversold. Well, again, last time nah, that happened, you had a big thrust in the market. So of course, to, you have to go back even well, further, perhaps, well, to the I'm great sure financial crisis to find here, the bottom here, there. Again, this is why investors whatever, are like bullish. The on the markets well, right credit. now. All right, let's take I'm a look like, we'll at be watching our the next one, if you want to take to the next one, you pay market, this man. 
wherever I need to get back to our screen here. Here we go. And what do we see in the bond market? We talked about last anyway. week how it was looking like it was breaking so support. This is the that was our That's headline long, for last right? week. Sellers came in, so we're not there yet. But Ten you're years. starting to see the big picture. I Here's your left shoulder. Years. Here's your head. Here's your right shoulder. Big Which copy pattern. Is it unusual after years? breaking a uh, line of support to see sellers come in? Not at all. 06, so sellers one, last two. dance here. Let's take a look That's at the bond years. part so of that component. Here. Remember, don't look yield to trade like inversely to bonds. Look we'll at iShares. 20-year plus treasury bond ETF. TLT. So I would use these Momentum lines like leverage. What is American Eagle? RSI is at 49.6. Magnum is still a cut out of here. Momentum time pro the last strong signal again. Again, this would be that. I think this is a mid on 727. But if we go back to the original golden signal, that was a buy it open at 114.91. It's sitting at 116.47. Downside target could be below that at 114 to 115. We'll look at that in a moment. Next upside target is back higher to 119 to 120. Oh, yeah, Otherwise, like we're seeing we want to see in momentum. One month is strong, sit at max. The three month is at mid, and we will eventually build into the six month before see, the again, thing that's goes not, higher. That's the point. There's some uh, really the nice signals I'm there. Not, Let's pull over now and look at the charts over. for TLT and see what's going on here because you can see this is nicely bottoming out well, on the bigger picture here. You got to cross over the 50 day moving kinda, average, that green line. Cross I, I don't through the 21 program, day moving average, the red line, reconfirmation of the 21. Now it's just create. below the 21 day moving now, average on Friday, this is what but if it holds that, moves higher. Well, look at where the six month volume profile is. You see all this trading volume here. There's your downside target. Is it into that six month or slightly below? Above that, you are having to move back to the top of the supply zone. The breakout. Point. You want to know where the breakout is still a bit higher at this 124. And therefore, I think why you've got to get to 124 before a the much bigger move higher P2, happens. P3, uh, if history is uh, any guide, got a couple more months of bottom out here. But look here on this five-year chart. You see all this volume things. traded here. How about the bigger picture, the weekly? Uh, why are people still bullish on bonds? Right, well, you, you get this oversold on bonds. Jimmy's well, right. Last time I'm going to listen to him. A nice if there was a here, number, it's going to be based on the... He didn't tell me a stock just like he's not telling he me a stock. Yeah, here's, a, here's the last one before that. Nice big move higher.